Today I'll be reviewing the Butte Me Lighted Vanity Mirror Expert. As you can see, it's packaged very well, so I was confident that the mirror would fully be intact. The mirror was also wrapped in plastic for added protection. On the back of the mirror, you'll find the power cord and the installation instructions. You'll also receive all of the hardware needed to correctly hang your mirror. I hung my mirror on the wall without any assistance. And as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. This mirror has a dimmable frame with three light colors to choose from. It has an anti-fog feature and it's also waterproof. And to make your products more accessible, it comes with this tray. You simply screw it on with the three small screws found in the hardware packet. I'll install my tray once I relocate this to my bedroom as my vanity mirror. Again, as you can see, it's a beautiful mirror. So if you're in the market for a vanity for your bathroom or bedroom, then I would recommend the Butte Me Lighted Vanity Mirror Expert. I promise you, you're going to love it. So order soon and get a 10% discount on any of the available sizes. There's a direct link and discount code in the description box below. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this DIY, I'm going to show you how to turn this bank into a perfume bottle. I did the diamonds and pearls perfume bottle and the frames that I use are really hard to find. Luckily, I found these at Dollar Tree and these will work just as well. This perfume bottle will be decorated for Valentine's Day. So I have this frame and I have some pink hearts. Now I found these pink hearts at Amazon but you all know that Dollar Tree sells the pink ones and the red ones but I haven't been able to find them. So I also found this frame, another water glow frame that I found at Dollar Tree. And as you can see, let me get this to move. As you can see we have pink hearts in there. This is going to be our top this time around. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I have these hearts and I have some of the Dollar Tree diamond shaped gems that I'm going to be using. And then remove the back. If you don't have a razor blade, you can use alcohol as well. Check this out and then clean it. Spray paint just the very edge of this silver and then take one of these Dollar Tree square mirrors and glue it to the back. So before we do that, we'll remove all of this off the back of it. So that's what I would do. I would remove the label and the feet. After I spray painted the edge of silver or just use acrylic paint, I would glue this on. Here's one that I did ahead of time. Now I'll go ahead and clean the inside of this glass really well along with this mirror. So I just decided that I wanted to add some string lights. And I'll leave a link in the description below. Unless you're new here, you've seen me do this so many times. All you need to do is just insert string light and I glue them in place. I'm only going to glue a few down and then I'm going to uh, do the rest of it off camera. Just like that. And I'm just going to zigzag it across. I'll come back when it's done and let you see what it looks like. Okay, I'm done putting the lights on here. And as you can see, it's like a squiggly motion. So now what I'll do is go ahead and fill this up with some hearts and some of these gems. I went ahead and poured some of the hearts and the gems in this bag and mixed them up. So honestly, you might not need to paint the silver. It might not show. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue. And then put this in place. If it don't slide in, then remove some of the gems. And then I'm going to add some hot glue on the back. 
Now I'll allow this glue to cool down. All right, so now I'm going to lift this up. And as you can see, I still have this extra wire. So all I want to do is just kind of push this wire down inside. All right, so I'm going to move that to the side. So now I need to make the neck of my bottle. So I have some of these wooden cubes from Dollar Tree. Now, I need for this to be right in the center. So I'm going to glue two cubes on this side and then two cubes on that side. I'm going to use this bling adhesive strip that I found at Amazon. It's really pretty. I've already measured it on the side. Folded it back and now I'm going to cut it. Originally, I was going to use the finish on here and you can do that. But I just want to take it up a notch, some of this to it. I've already put it on this side. Now I'll add it to this side. Now this piece is a little short. So I have three rows. Now I'll add the rest of it. Okay guys, I had to change the card out so I went ahead and just finished it. So I just put the bling on this side and then Cut some strips to go around the front and then a piece right there at the top. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and glue this piece on right here. And so what I'm going to do is just remove this. Now if you want to, this is the back. Let me give you guys a skill. So what you could do is remove the picture and then put another photograph in here and then put this inside to hold it. Or you can take the label completely off and leave it like this. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, I use Gorilla Glue. So I'm going to center this. And leave that to dry for about three hours. Okay guys, it's been about three hours. The glue has not completely set up, but it's set up enough that I can go ahead and move on to the next step. So the next thing I want to do is add some mirror tile to the neck of my cap. And here I have two rows, so I'm going to glue some here on the sides and on the back too. So I'll go ahead and show you that. When I use the mirror tile, I always like to use extra glue with it. So just measure. Just like that. Now I'll go ahead and put some on each side. And I'm going to go ahead and add a couple pieces here. So this is the back again and here's our screws. So we want to be able to change the batteries when needed. So I'm just going to high glue this here. just like that. Okay, to finish this off, I'm gonna put one of the Chanel logos right in the center. Now I'll add some hot glue. So I'm going to let this completely dry, put it on display and turn the lights on and let you see what it looks like. And here's my completed perfume bottle on display. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful and is perfect for Valentine's Day. And let's not forget that it was inexpensive and super easy to make.
This concludes my DIY. I hope that you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.